Hello. Starting from 1st May 2018, you probably know that Facebook made some major changes to their API access and how they approve the rights to access their API. So in this video I will show you some updates about how this modified uh, this plugin. So first thing first, if you just want to import content from Facebook to your web page, you're in luck because you will not uh, necessarily need a Facebook review for your app because uh, I provide you an app ID and secret that can do this. If you will use this, these two, you will be able to import content from Facebook. Let's check this out real quick. Uh, one post from Rihanna. And as you can see, it imported correctly. Okay. Now let's delete this because we won't need this anymore. So if you want to import posts only from Facebook, you're in luck. But if you want to uh, post on your Facebook page or to your Facebook group where you're admin, you have to submit your app for review. Okay, so let's check how to do this. First thing first, you need to create an app. Let's go and click create new app. Give it a name. Click create app ID. Submit the captcha. And your app is already created. Now, <coughs> Go to settings, basic, copy the app ID, paste it here, copy the secret, paste it here. Don't bother using this app ID and secret because I will delete them. Save app info. Now go to post to Facebook. And here you will have listed all the necessary steps that you will take that we will need to take for this to work. As you can see, Facebook overcomplicated things. Yeah, this is sad. Uh, before anything, I have to show you that HTTP uh, versions of website will no longer work. You have to use HTTPS versions because Facebook restricted this also. So uh, you need to make sure that your website has an HTTPS version. Okay. If you switch to HTTPS, you have this screen. Now you have to follow these steps. These steps might change in the future, so these apply only for now. Now Let's go to application settings in Facebook, navigate to, oh, one thing before we go, that these steps are required only for newly created apps. If you have an older app, you uh, just, uh, an app that was created before April 2018, you'd have to just check these checkboxes and click authorize app. It might work. It is not, uh, Sure, but it might work. If you have a new app, you have to follow all these steps. So, go to App Dashboard, Settings, Basic, Add Platform. App Dashboard, Settings, Basic, Add Platform. Website, Site URL, Set at, as this. Website, Site URL, Set as this. Save Changes. Okay, step three. In Facebook settings page, app domains as this. So settings, base, 
app domains, paste it here, save changes. Okay, next. Privacy policy URL set as this or your privacy U uh, policy URL if you have one. Save changes. Business use uh, for support my own website. So business use support my own website or provide services to other businesses if this is your case. Category select the category that matches your website. Okay. In the settings panel, click products with a plus. Before, don't forget to save changes. Click products. Facebook login. Setup. Website URL set as this. Setup. Web. Site URL set as this. Continue. Next. 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 No other changes are required. In the application settings, uh, so Facebook login settings. Valid of redirect URI set as this. Voting. So valid of redirect query is set as this. Hit enter and save settings. Afterwards, embedded OAuth uh, browser OAuth login set to yes. Save changes. Status in development. Click on. Uh, click on this off button to switch it to on. So it will be public. Click confirm, and your app will be public. Okay, now you have to submit your app for login review. To do this, click on app review, and you have to start a submission. Uh, if you wish to post to videos you have uh, you, you if you want to post to groups you have to select the groups api if you want to post to pages uh, then you have to uh, check this page mentions And you must also ask for these manage pages and publish pages. So beside this, you have to ask for these two. Okay. Click add one item. Complete the details. Here Facebook will ask you a bunch of details about you. And you have to add an app icon from the settings and afterwards you can start the submission. When your app is approved, you simply go here and check the checkboxes that you got approved, the manage pages and publish pages if you want to publish to your own pages or your user manage groups if you want to publish to groups. If you got approved both, then check this. Also, an experimental publish actions, you can also get try to get a group approve this. Okay. Uh, then you click authorize your app. In this case, I my app is not approved yet because I just created it. This, because of this, this error will pop up. Invalid scopes, publish pages, you go back and check only the uh, the privileges that you want to approve you will see that now these are not approved okay but this error will go away once you will approve your app okay if you don't check anything then the plugin will give you this error
Okay, so this is the publishing part to Facebook. As you can see, it is pretty hard now to make it work. Uh, also, the publishing from Facebook is also a bit hard to acquire. If you wish to um, make your app uh, to send it to review, uh, you can also uh, uh, add the public uh, page public content access. If you want to use your own app ID to import a post from Facebook, you need to get approved this public content access. Okay. Then afterwards, you can use your own app ID and app secret to import posts from Facebook. Okay. So. This is all for now for the recent Facebook changes. Uh, I hope uh, your apps will get approved soon. Uh, so if uh, there will be any new updates on this, I will keep you guys updated. Until next time, bye bye.